Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to linearize a set of data that you have that's not linear. Uh, so this is what I had before. I have a quadratic. I have the equation figured out that it's quadratic. Now, if it is quadratic, I'm going to want to take the horizontal axis time, and I'm going to want to square that data, uh, and then I'm going to replot the graph of position versus time squared. Now, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of the line that I put in before, because that's going to change when I do this. Uh, then I'm going to go over here to data set. I'm going to, I'm under data, I'm going to create a new data set, just a new manual column. Okay, now that column is going to be time squared. Uh, short is time raised to the power of 2. The units are seconds raised to the power of 2. Uh, under options, I'm going to use decimal places, and I'm going to use one decimal place for the data I have. I'm going to leave the rest for now, and then that's done. Okay, now I'm going to type that data in. Okay, I'm going to pause here while I type the rest of it. Okay, I've typed the rest of the data in. Now, the problem at this point that I have is I have now squared the time, which means I've done a calculation which means the old uh, point 0.2 fixed uncertainty won't work because now I've, I've made a calculation, so I have to propagate the uncertainty of my new numbers. So I, in doing this process, I would go through and do my error propagation calculations and get my new numbers, and then to get those error bars onto the graph, what I'm going to do is create a new column. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to go back to data, and I'm going to create another manual column. This column is going to be uh, time squared uncertainty, and that's going to be a uh, short name is, I'm going to call it delta t raised to the power of 2, because it's the uncertainty. And then that's going to be in seconds raised to the power of 2 still. That doesn't change. Uh, and under options, I'm going to make sure it's one decimal place to match the other, and I'm done with that. Okay, now I have record, I've uh, actually done those calculations. Um, if you need to see how to do that, we'll have to look at another situation or video or see me. But right now, I'm just going to put the numbers in, and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, here are the values that I calculated using error propagation. Uh, equation for this particular case range from 1.3 seconds squared to 3.5 seconds squared. Now I notice that hasn't changed on the graph over here yet because I haven't told the graph that I want to change it. So I'm going to uh, now plot time squared data on the horizontal axis as opposed to time data. So first I'm going to double click on time squared and I'm going to go to my options and I'm going to tell it that I want error bar calculations. That's already checked. But instead of percentage, I'm going to go to a, a fixed value. And since it's not really fixed, it's changing, I'm going to use column. And you get all the choices for all the different columns. I'm going to use my time squared uncertainty column. That way the computer will put each of my correct uncertainties, ranging from 1.3, to 3.5 with the correct data point. Okay, I'm done with that. All right, so now all I have to do to change the graph is go down here on the horizontal axis and click, and I can choose, I can change this to any of the data table lines I have. So I'm going to change it to time squared, and boom, there you go. We got a nice straight, what looks to me like a nice straight line. Now notice that now we still have the 5% for the position because the position axis didn't change. I didn't need to change that uncertainty in any way. All right, so that's growing as I go up. And then I have the uncertainties that I have listed over here in my uh, uncertainty squared t uh, column of my data table. They are growing as I go up. All right, so I've turned a quadratic form into a line. I can now do my fits, so the easiest fit first is just to do a uh, curve function, and it should be linear, and try that fit, and there's my line, looks good, I hit OK, and there it is on the graph. 
Now I got a 0.9997 correlation. That sounds pretty good. Okay, that's not what I want to do. I just want to move the box around. I can move this box anywhere I want. I'm going to put it here in the middle because it's going to be my best fit line. Uh, I'm also going to double click on it and uh, check the appearance. I'm going to leave this one as black. Okay, I'm going to change the colors of the other ones I put in. Oh, I was going to change the decimal places to two because my um, value certainly is not more than two significant figures. All right, so at this point, I have a slope, a best fit slope of 0.12 meters per second squared. Now, notice it's meters per second squared. That's an acceleration. That's not a velocity. So this slope is not velocity. It's acceleration. All right, so the last step here is going to be to put in uh, a max. I need to do the uncertainty of this graph data. So I'm going to need to put in a max slope line and a min slope line. You can't do that with 3.8.2. If you're using 3.8.2, of Logger Pro, then at this point you want to print this graph out and draw your maximum slopes in by hand and then calculate your values. Uh, in the next video I'll show you how to go ahead and do uh, maximum right here on graphical analysis based off of uh, 3.10.1.